Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to add decals and holograms inside your scenes in Blender. So let's check it out. All right, so let's get started with the first one here. Um, now I'm gonna be using, as an example, this uh, kit that I made a while back. Um, and this is a great kit for this because I, I did use a lot of uh, decals and holograms and stuff like that. Uh, so as you can see in a lot of these structures, you can see all these type of decals and also on these sort of like devices as well. And so uh, the way we're gonna do this is uh, you have to get first what the graphic is going to be, so, right? So for the decals. So for example, I have a um, folder here. So let's go to my textures and my decals here and you could do this with many types of different types of effects right so it could be like actual graphics or it could be like more like texture graphics as well so it's like sort of like spongy or some erosion or you know leakage like this uh, you can also do that for and so let's choose uh one of these here so let's say for example i wanted to add a decal here on this object and i'm going to choose uh let's use this one here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure first that my images as planes on my add-ons is on, right? So this is the plugin, right? And it comes with Blender. And so I'm going to go Shift A, Image, Images as planes, and I'm going to look for this graphic here. Now let's, uh, I can do this one. Either way, it doesn't matter. All right, this one. And then I'm going to uh, import Images as planes. Now, wherever my 3D cursor is, that's where my image is going to be. And so I'm gonna move this around. I'm sort of gonna place it sort of where I want to. Now, this is something that you can change later is that um, you don't have to set this up right now, but we are going to um, sort of place it as a placeholder here. And I'm just gonna put it really close here just so I know that that's going there. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go to my modifiers and I'm gonna find shrink wrap, which is over here. I'm gonna add that. Now for the target, I'm gonna choose the surface that I wanna put that on. And now you can see that I have that sort of place there. And the cool thing about this is like, if I move it, doesn't matter where, it's always gonna be sort of like attached to that surface, right? And so, um, the other thing that, as you can see, if I move the camera, you get this weird effect. And that's because it's like really on top of this face of the surface. So it's always going to be competing about which one is going to be visible. And so what I like to do is on the offset, I'm gonna, I like to put a very low number. So 0 0.1 might be too much. We can see the space here, right? So maybe we can do 0 0.02 and see if that works. Right, so I like to rotate the camera, seeing it from far away to see if I get any glitch in, right? So point zero two seems to do the trick, right? And so now I can easily um, check here. I'm just gonna go to the side. That's still pretty far, but again, I don't think this is a big deal right now. Um, we're never gonna see this like this, right? Most likely we're gonna see it like this, but you can probably go lower to like 0 0.01. Um, but anyways, the cool thing about this is that now I can just play with where I want this, right? And if you have a decal that maybe, or a surface that maybe you wanna do, maybe like a wrap around like this, right? Um, if I move this, you're gonna see that it doesn't really do that, right? That's because of the, um, the rotation of the object, but also if I go into edit mode, this object doesn't really have any uh, enough geometry to do the bend or the curve, right? So I can go to the object edit mode, control R for um, adding loops. And then I'm just gonna add a couple loops in here and go back to object mode. And now if I move this here, I'm gonna start seeing some progress. Now, the other thing is that I'm gonna try to rotate this on the Y, on the Z axis. Just gonna place this. 
as best as possible. So I'm going to play with the Z axis and also the placement of this to get the best effect. Now, this may not be the best um, surface just because there's little um, geometry here, but just so you can get an idea of how you can do this as well. Um, and also I'm going to just play with the rotation here a little bit, maybe with the placement. Right, so even something like that. So if I wanted to have something smoother, I would smooth this surface first, right? And then I would um, I will get the more smoother option. But this is a very easy way to add um, to add uh, decals and effects like that. Now, um, and you can see some examples of that here. Now, if you go to the hologram section, um, let's do. We're going to do a very similar uh, approach, but we are going to do this on a separate uh, uh, scene here, just so it's a little bit easier. Now, uh, again, I'm going to use the same modifier, right? Uh, not, not the same modifier, the same plugin, images as links, but maybe I want to have some sort of a hologram effect, right? And let's do, let's actually do this one here, uh, just because it has some color to it, and I want to play with that. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Import images as planes. Let's find that image. This one here. And I'm going to go to my render view here just so we can actually see the color here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, set up this camera and let's see it over here. And I'm going to change this one to this one here. Just so I can have a good setup. Now, you can do this either on EV or Cycles. Uh, it's going to look, of course, a little bit better in Cycles, uh, but more rendering time. But um, I want to try it in Cycles just so you can see a little bit of the uh, effects of the light and glow. But I want to play with the shader that I got from the images as planes. So I'm going to select the object and this is the your normal setup, right? But let's just say, for example, that maybe I don't want the dark part of it, right? So I want this sort of like hologram and the hologram, I just want the yellow, the white um, only. So maybe we can do an and this is, you know, this process is going to depend on the actual image, right? And the values of it. Uh, but in this case, I think we can extract that a little bit. So I'm going to create a transparent BSDF, right? And I'm going to mix these two. And for the vector, I'm actually going to use the same image. I'm going to attach it to the factor. Now, you can see a little bit of what's happening here already, right? Uh, depending on the image, you may have to do more tweaking. And the way I do that is I'm going to add a ramp to this. That way I can control the contrast of the factor. So I'm going to push maybe this way. Yeah. Like so. Right. And uh, I did a couple of... Uh, different setups on this particular project. So I'm going to try to do that uh, uh, on this one. And the way I want to do it, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to move it to the back. And so I want to create some sort of like layering system for this sort of like hologram. And so the layer in the back, I am going to have it as a whole. So actually I'm going to create a new material based on what I have here. So I'm going to click here. Now I can edit this without messing up the other one that I did, right? And for this one, I just want to have this, right? So now this one is sort of like a little bit forward here, like so. And let's do, let's turn off the light here. So I want this to be glowing. So for this, uh, the first layer here, or the front one, I am going to attach the color or the image into the emission. 
I'm going to increase that a little bit so you can get a little bit of that glow. And the other thing that I want to do is um, let's play with the, I don't want this to be 100% opaque. So I want to have some transparency to this part of the hologram. And I can do that in a couple of ways, but uh, probably the easiest, fastest way is just I'm going to copy this transparent BSDF. I'm going to merge these two here. And now on here, I can control how much oh, I want of that. Right. And I'm going to go back to here. Maybe I can add a little bit of emission to this one as well. Let's see how that looks. Just a little bit there. I can also copy this one, make it even further out. And for this one, I'm going to again create a new material so I can edit it without messing the other one. And now I can play with the actual here. And I have a little bit less of that, maybe a little bit more glow. Let's combine these here. Right, so now I have this sort of like effect. And maybe on this one, I can actually, let's take this out and use this. And then now I can maybe reduce the effect or opacity on the back layer there. And the other cool thing is that you can actually Play with the colors a little bit, right? So I can go and have a uh, color ramp here. And let's attach that to the emission as well. And I can start adding some colors to this just to bring a little bit of variance of the color. And now you can see I'm getting a little bit of that there. Maybe on this one, I can do the same. So I'm going to copy this color ramp. You can really have a lot of fun playing with this because it's a very easy, simple setup. So let's maybe make this one. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So I'm sort of like seeing here what that looks like. Right. And you can sort of play and even this, like if I just move this to the back or even to the back side of it, I can create this sort of like different effects in here. But I sort of like this. This is kind of cool. Right. Um, and again, you know, uh, very easy to set up. Let's see how this looks in. In Eevee here. And I'm going to turn the world to black. And let's turn on some bloom. Ooh, that's cool. It's kind of cool there. Right. So I actually want to see it with the black on cycles. That's cool too. Yeah. So anyways, um, Again, very easy. Uh, you can do this with many different types of effect, right? Um, and uh, and create this sort of like layering system for your sort of like holograms. Uh, but yeah, I hope that helps. All right, guys. So that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And if you like this content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.